hello viewers you are welcome to my channel please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified at the same time the red subscribe button is very important now let's go straight to the news at hand the headline says nigeria the finalization agenda and the slavish mentality of eastern leaders This is written by Lechuku Nicholas Ohaji for Family Writers Press International. Now the news in detail. The fear of being taken, denied, job, kid, or imprisoned have kept a lot of people away from speaking out against the state-sponsored terrorism being perpetrated in Nigeria. Of a truth, this time is really a dangerous time to speak out against evil. This is why many known spoke, many known outspoken voices have either remained mute or joined the oppressors by supporting them. Countless times I have been admonished by people whose only interest is to see no harm come to me, to desist from writing to expose the atrocities and evils going on in nigeria according to them many people in this country have been framed and imprisoned or even assassinated simply because they spoke out against evil the nigerian government who seems to share some ideology with the terrorist is tacity using Boko haram terrorists eswap and fulani men to wipe off christians communities in the north if care is not taken in two years time there won't be any christian community remaining in the north and when they are done they will definitely head down south with full force these terrorists have concentrated on attacking christian communities like chibok dapchi and many other kidnapping their guests and killing thousands of people Lia Sharibu, a Christian girl kidnapped by Boko Haram, is still in captivity till this very day. Her crime is refusing to convert to Islam. Nigerian government who have no plan for these Christian communities who are victims of terror, pampas, the same terrorists who are killing innocent people, they are paid. Rehabilitated, recruited back into the military and reintegrated into the society. Talking about heartless terrorists that have murdered citizens and soldiers alike. There is also a bill in Nigerian Senate seeking for an agency for capture of Boko Haram terrorists. Just a few days ago, a military general flew to Niger Republic to bring back Boko Haram prisons prisoners for rehabilitation funny enough the world is not talking about those atrocities going on the human rights group are silent un and the global mainstream media are all silent nobody cares about what is happening in nigeria maybe that is because christians are at the receiving end the main agenda of the nigerian government is to pro Baguette Islam and force the Nigerian people to embrace Islam. They have introduced Qatar colony. They have introduced Ruga. Uh, uh, they have introduced Ruga. All uh, are uh, engineered towards forcefully taking indigenous land from owners and gift it to the Fulani. Recently, the same Nigerian government adopted the free visa policy to all African nations. This is a presidential invitation to all Fulani across Africa to come and inhabit all the Christian communities which Boko Haram terrorists and their Fulani Hemens counterparts have rendered desolate. Tell me again which people, apart from the Fulani, who will leave their place to become indigenous of another place. While all this are going on, those we call leaders in the East are struggling for who will be a better slave to the Fulani. They are ready to sacrifice their own people for Fulani to slaughter. 
The American Security Office created by Yoruba for the security of their people have been roundly rejected by the Eastern governors. They did that as to help their fellow animal start to force the Yoruba to succumb and disband Amotokun. I hope to see the Yoruba stand tall against intimidation, but should in case the Fulani control military move against them, I doubt if they can stand. Sadly, that is how the Fulani hegemony have far ages been using both the Yoruba and the leaders against each other for the eternal subjugation of the South. Should in case the Fulani men of Boko Haram invade the East, they will leave a lot of people dead because of the foolishness of those at the helm of the affairs. That's where Nandi Kalu and Apple comes in. The people have already lost all trust and respect on the Eastern governors. They are absolutely nothing in the eyes of the people. They are viewed as nothing other than Fulani, shameless slaves, proudly safe sh serving the Fulani against the wishes of their own people. Their power remains the terrorists masquerading as soldiers whom the Fulani masters gave to them for their protection. The little support they get are bought by money. Should anything happen tomorrow for sure, the people will treat them exactly like the enemy they are. The people believe that Hypo will secure them and save them from the immediate dangers of the Fulani Caliphate. For those thinking that Nigeria still have remedy, they should stop already. Nigeria has rotten to an irredeemable extent. The only solution to the problem of Nigeria is total dissolution. Nigeria must be divided into acceptable organic nation. Biafra must be carved out of Nigeria. That is the only way to end the terror being unleashed by the Fulani control government of Nigeria. This actually coming from Elechukwa Haji is a philosopher, teacher, and activist. Edited by Paul Inhechi Alaba for Family Writers Press International. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Please put your comment in the comment section. Share this news, very important, and remain blessed. We got to share this news until we get rid of all this part of our life. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.